audio books nowadays? Everything you can think of. I have narrated cookbooks. <laughs> How do you do I, that? I narrate lots of self-help. Yeah, cookbooks. How do you do that? Well, give us an yeah. example of, of a recipe, <laughs> how you would narrate a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just reading what's on the page. I mean, you've, you've, I'm sure you've seen a cookbook, but they have, you know, you list out the ingredients and then, you know, the temperature and then you narrate the steps in which to, you know, how the recipe yeah, yeah. is made. Yeah, you sit or how there the and say, yes, done. Tom, you've seen a cookbook, right? I have seen a cookbook. <laughs> But the, <laughs> but the but the the thing is, is they ex, they they expect that you know too much in these cookbooks. Like for instance, I found this book one time, and it was uh, how to make low fat Thousand Island dressing. And you're supposed to put some cottage cheese, put this in a blender, and put some cottage cheese and some ketchup and some relish and all the stuff. Okay, but do you think they would yeah. have been kind enough to mention? to put the lid on the blender before you turn it on. <laughs> oh, to God. I, it shot up to the ceiling, and my almost my lease was up. I figured, I'm moving. All right, <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. He'll never look up there to see that when I go to get my dis- security deposit back. <laughs> and then they didn't tell you also, do not lick razor-sharp blender blades either. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, no. so I, I had a bloody tongue over that. So, so I just I can't imagine what it's oh like to, uh, that's what I would be thinking if I was trying to narrate a cookbook. But, so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so did you just say, okay, boss, I quit and all I'm going to make a fortune doing narration or was there some transition period? Um, in February of this year, I mean, my direct managers knew that I did this on the side. And in February of this year, I, I went to them and I said, I'm, finally at that point where I cannot do both. I'm actually losing money with my voiceover business by coming to work, by working yeah. here. So they, they understood. I mean, it wasn't like it was a problem with them or a problem with me. It was, you know, they understood. They wished me well. And I had my two weeks and then I left. Yeah, but uh, you had been doing it for how long, though, to get to that point? Um, at that point, about a okay, year and so, a half. So there was a transition period. You just didn't stop your paycheck and then say, I'm going to do this with no money coming in, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. how? Uh, what was the beginning like when you got into this business? I mean, you getting how to get jobs and stuff. Um, I, I found out that there were, you know, there's, there's about 100 different freelance marketplaces where you can find wow. this type of work. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of them, I'm sure you're familiar with. I think I saw one of your podcasts that was about yeah, of Fiverr. Course. Yeah, Fiverr. Yeah, mm-hmm. Fiverr. Yeah, Fiverr is a big one. Fiverr is where I find the opening a lot of to work, this show. There's also up the voiceover was a Fiverr job. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fiverr, Upwork, and then of course there's ACX, Audible. There's there's tons of them available, and that's where I find most of my work. And of course, it was slow going at first. Because, you know, if you don't have that social proof on your profiles, it's a little difficult right. to have, you know, to, for customers to feel comfortable with hiring you. So it's a little slow going at first. Like but anything. once I got going, yeah, it was great. So is this constant jobs all the time or is it always audition, get a job? Every day. Every day you've got a job lined up. Every day. Every day I have. I have a lot of, at this point, I have a lot of repeat clients that hire me you know, multiple times a month. What happens if you get a sore throat? If I get a sore throat, then I reach out to my clients and I say, hey, I have a sore throat. Would you mind if I, you know, took a couple of extra days? And that's never been a problem. Only a couple of days. See, you're young. You get over things fast. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know how old you think I am. You you look like you're, I don't know, 12, (laughs) something like that. (laughs) You really do. (laughs) Um, So, um, so I have some specific questions for you because I'm going to pick your brain while I got you Shoot. on here. Shoot. I was looking at uh, one of my books and trying to turn it into the script to do the voice, to do the narration, right? And so I get to a point okay. in the book that says, hey, if you do what it says in this ebook, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, they're listening to this. Am I supposed to change that to audio book? And then that messes up my whisper sync? Whisper Sync, folks, is the, is the, where your book matches your your audio book matches your. 